this video I'm explaining how to install MCP server by calling its repository. First, clone the repository to the folder where you keep all MCP servers. Then go to the folder and open it with the, your favorite editor. Then op open Quick Start and let's let's run the next step. And it's uh, run make install from the root of the project. It will install all required dependencies and also will build the project right here. The build folder is appeared. Uh, this is actually MCP server. Then run make forward. This will uh, run the forwarding server, which will connect the source extension and MCP server. The next step is to add the tools MCP extension to your Flutter application. I will use the test application. In the in the pub stack, you need to add to the dependencies the DevTools MCP extension as it right here. Then run pub get command. After it's completed, we need to open the application. And uh, there's two ways to do that. The important part is to run Flutter run uh, command with the three arguments. The observatory port is just optional, but convenient way to keep VM server with a certain port. The enable VM service and disable service out codes required to connect. Uh, MCP server to dark VM. So we can use this command or just run from the configuration. It's, uh, it will be the same. I will choose my quest application. Here we have test application and it has text overflow on the right side. It's uh, I, I have added to test the capabilities of MCP server. So we can safely go to the next step. And the next step is to actually open the tools in the browser. So we can just copy paste this uh, line to browser or use uh, command tool and open the tools to browser. It will be the same. So the next step is to activate the MCP bridge it's right here and make sure it's enabled. Then go to MCP extension, wait until it will load and make sure it's connected to VM and forwarding server. After that, uh, we need to add the config of MCP server to the list of MCP servers, for example, in the slot. Here we are. Let's add a new command. Make sure I first so you have correct path to the MCP server you cloned. And the next step, actually make sure it will appear here and the tools is visible for MCP. Here we have the command get app errors. And let's just uh, ask agent to run this command. Get application errors.
here we are the agent run this command and return that errors no errors found and that's okay all errors are recorded in uh, extension to, to reproduce errors and make sure it's available for agent we need to restart application or use hot reload after it's hot reloaded the monitor in extension will, will record all errors in its memory and we can ask agent again to run this command here we are we have the result of uh, mcp tools and it found some errors just uh, the almost row uh, other application representation but but not all and uh, the agent is correctly identified the issue by providing but so this is it thank you for watching bye